Hey, it's Jay. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. Throughout history, sailors witnessed some incredible phenomena out at sea. They were the first to see the giant squid, the Architeuthis right here, which we now know is real. They made it through terrifying storms, and perhaps the most fascinating phenomenon of all was St. Elmo's fire. few sailors of the past wrote down spectacular first-hand accounts of this. Everything is in flames, the sky with lightning, the water with luminous particles, and even the very masts are pointed with a blue flame. That was Charles Darwin. <laughs> Here's another example. The storm had ravaged through many a wind. Suddenly the masts lit a fire as an autumn ball. Purple lanterns lit, but no music played. Both these sailors are referencing St. Elmo's fire. Occurring in storms, it's a phenomenon where a ship's masts and support beams become engulfed in a hissing purple glow. It's really quite crazy. Sometimes this purple light forms the shape of a flame, gaining the term St. Elmo's fire. The hissing purple glow I'm talking about is identical to the coronal discharge off of this voltage multiplier, except on a much larger scale. Right, so what exactly causes this? Is it the saint himself? Saint Elmo is the patron saint of sailors. Now, they pray to him because according to the stories, he continued preaching despite having a lightning bolt strike right beside him. Now, considering sailors were out at sea and experienced drastic lightning storms, it makes sense that this saint is who they would pray to. However, we know what happens because when there is a large charge separation between the ground and the atmosphere, such as during a thunderstorm, objects with a sharper curvature radius have the ability to concentrate electric field gradients. High electric field gradients have the ability to ionize air around an object, much like what's happening here with this voltage multiplier. And considering when you're out at sea you're the only sharp objects around, there's your St. Elmo's fire. Now let's go ahead and use the voltage multiplier one last time to create St. Elmo's fire on my fingertips. Just like the sharp curvature of the masts of a ship, my fingers are causing the ionization of air. There are phenomena all around us and St. Elmo's fire is one such. Hopefully you learned a little bit about it today. Now do me a huge favor and leave a like, leave a comment, share the video with people who you think might enjoy it, and most importantly, subscribe to Plasma Channel. Lots of great episodes coming up. Now if you'd like to see the last episode, click the box to your right because it's on how to make your own Lichtenberg Cube. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. You stay classy.